Hi guys, it's Fernanda. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you everything that I've purchased for my classroom over the summer for this upcoming school year. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I thought I had already filmed this video. I was already filming this video. And then when I finished, I realized that somewhere in between that time frame, I, my camera stopped recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and try again. So, so far I've purchased things from Target, Amazon, and Michaels. So I'm gonna be showing you all of that. And let's get into it. So let's start with fun things first. So this is something I'm really excited about and it's this cute pillow. This is from Target and it just says, be awesome today. I am moving into a new classroom, still same grade level, but because it's a bigger classroom, I have more space and a lot more empty space. I feel needs a little extra. That's why I've purchased most of these things. With this being one of them, this is gonna be sitting in my library area. I also purchased this pencil pillow. I thought about personalizing this pillow, but I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. And then I also got something from Hobby Lobby, which I forgot to mention. Um, it's another pillow. This one's pretty plain, but it has cute little tassels on the side. And I plan on personalizing this pillow with my Cricut. So if you guys wanna see a video on how I do that, let me know in the comments below. So I just wanted to have like a cute little saying in the front. All right, so moving right along to Michael's stuff, I bought this pencil party pack. So these are all colored pencils, which I did not realize when I bought them. I thought they were all gonna be just regular pencils, <laughs> but I bought these so I can give out to students on their birthday. I still have a lot of like fun pencils in my classroom, so I can definitely swap out the colored pencils for regular pencils. They're more usable. I also bought this huge roll of bulletin board border and it's just in white. It's like the crinkle one, so I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but I did want just an easy bulletin board border. I do have a bulletin board border template on TPT that I used a lot last year and the year before that. and I have three more in my classroom colored paper, but I don't have a lot of colored cardstock. Um, I, I do want to switch up my centers a little bit because I didn't do a really good job of storing them last year. I'm switching it up in the way that I'm not going to be printing them in color anymore, even though I do have a colored printer and we have a colored printer at school. I just don't want to like waste the ink. So I bought black lined uh, centers and that's what I'm going to be using this cardstock for cards are stronger and then once you laminate it it's stronger than it would have been if you just if you just used regular paper okay so let's move on to amazon stuff so the first thing i got from amazon and you can get anywhere um is this book this is the newest mo willems book and it's the the pigeon has to go to school which is which came just in time for back to school all right i also bought the new bad guys book which is already in my classroom and i'm super pumped about it i know my students from last year would have been so excited to know that that book is out so I might like lend this to a second grade teacher so she can read it to them because I know they were so excited that it was gonna be out, but they were kind of bummed that it was gonna be out when they were in second grade and not in first grade. Something else I got from Amazon that was actually sent to me from Class Captain, but these are sold on Amazon, are reusable dry erase pockets. This is what they look like. I use, use, I use dry erase pockets quite often in my classroom. Um, they, are, they are a great alternative for whiteboards if you don't have them. I had whiteboards last year, like individual whiteboards, but they would go missing all the time. So if a student couldn't find their whiteboard, they would get a dry erase pocket. These are also great for math. So if we were learning about like 10 frames, number bonds, time, um, graphs, number lines, like all that stuff, I would just print out that like template, like maybe like 10 frames or something like that and just insert them in here so we could follow along. So students could follow along solving problems with their own like 10 frame or whatever. This upcoming school year, I'm also gonna be doing the same thing, but also for phonics. So, I'll be, so on one side I'll have like the math scale and then the other side I'll have our phonics scale. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'll be putting sound boxes on one side. So when we're like trying to make words and stuff like that, they have those sound boxes to help them out if they need it. So this pack from Class Captain, not only comes with the dry erase pockets, but, and, but they also come with laminating pouches. So they come with uh, 100 laminating pouches and they are the three mil size. So now let's get to what I got at my favorite store and that is Target. Um, so I got quite a few things at Target. 
So the first thing I got are these alphabet stamps. And I already have two sets, but I did want to add a third set just in case it's needed or we lose letters or something like that. These are great for literacy centers or early finisher work. So that's why I got these. I also got some magnetic letters and numbers. So I already have quite a few magnetic letters, which is why I only got two. But I wanted to add some magnetic numbers so we can also use them for math centers, which reminds me I need to make space for that center in my classroom. I also got these two little tin buckets and I'm gonna use these for sharp pencils and unsharp pencils. I also bought three packs of these adhesive pockets. So I'm gonna be using these for name tags. I'll just be putting one of these in each table. And when it comes time to changing the seating chart, it'll be easy because you can just slide out the name tag instead of ripping out the whole tape like it used to be before. It'll be easier, hopefully. I also bought um, the thinner ones. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but they're basically half this size. And I bought those at Michael's. So, my, so Michael's also carries these. Um, and I bought those to use on cubbies so I can put the names on cubbies like that. I also bought these little tins. So these are metal hanging bins and they have the hooks right in the back. And I plan on using these for my calendar area to keep track of anything that we use on there, like, na like days of the week or calendar cards or anything that I'm using on my calendar area will go in here so I'll be better organized. I also bought these little fun spiky balls and I'm not sure what I'm gonna use them for yet. I don't know if I wanna use them for like math manipulatives or birthday gifts or prize box, but I got these. I also bought this really pretty pink duct tape and I use this for my writing journals. Students get a new writing journal every month and it's just really simple. It's just construction paper with writing paper in between stapled together. And to prevent the staples from coming out or, or sticking out and poking kids' fingers, I just tape over the spinal cord journals with duct tape. So that's what this is for. I also just got blank note cards from Target that I'm gonna be using as thank you cards if needed. From Target, I also bought this clip folio which matches the note card and I plan on using this for any notes that I take during staff meetings or self or, or PDs. Um, last year I tried to take notes on my iPad, but I don't know, something in me just prefers like regular notes on something that you can like flip through, not swipe through. I don't know. I like the iPad, but I don't like the iPad. So I'll be using this for notes. And I'll also be personalizing it with my Cricut, so if you want to see that, let me know. I also bought some bins. So I was in the hunt for specific colors of these bins. I needed this many. I needed three orange, two purples, one blue, one yellow, and one green, and one pink, and two pinks. The other ones are already in my classroom, so then I just needed these. Um, these were pretty easy to find at one of my targets, but the pink one was such a pain to find. I just couldn't find it. I went to Target every day for like four days, different targets, couldn't find it. I ended up finding this at Michael. So they are the exact same size bin. They look exactly the same. I just know that the pink from Michael's looks different from the pink from Target. The Michael's one is a little bit brighter as opposed to the Target one. It's a little more like dark. Um, so that's the difference in color. Size is the same thing. Price is different. This one was a little bit over $4 as opposed to the Target ones that are $3 but at least I have the bins that I need. I also bought these little shelves that I'm gonna be putting on top of my desk to kind of decorate that area and personalize it a little bit more because at the moment it's just a gray wall. So that's why I bought these. I'll probably be putting them on the wall like this and then putting like fake plants on there or something and maybe a few picture frames around it. I don't know, we'll see. Um, the last thing I bought from Target is this, I don't know, like. There's a dry erase poster, so it's just like a loose leaf paper. So I got this because I remembered that when I was student teaching in first grade, my mentor teacher eventually, like towards the end of the school year, would have her students use loose leaf paper to get ready for second grade, because that's what they used in second grade at that school. So I bought this because they might want to do that, and if I do, I can let them know like where the margins go, where to put their names, and stuff like that. So that's why I got it, and it was only a dollar. And then I also got these from Michaels that I forgot to show you. These are just for birthdays, again, just a little something. I'm actually waiting on a couple of orders from Amazon. One of them are just hooks that I'm gonna be using to kind of revamp the backpack hook situation that I don't have. So like I mentioned, I do have a new classroom this school year, but there are no backpack hooks. But there are no backpack hooks. This classroom is relatively new. I think it's not even a year old. And I know the teacher before me used like some of her own shelves as backpack storage. So that's not there anymore. 
Luckily, I did find like an incomplete backpack hook thing in my school that I'm going to be using, but it's missing a ton of hooks and I don't think there's enough holes for the entire class. My class will cap out at 25 and there's only like 18 holes. So I bought these hooks that are two in one basically that I'm going to be using for my backpack hooks. And the last thing I can think of that I bought for my classroom for the school year is bulletin board paper. So I bought two rolls. I bought this black one and this and this shiplap one. I bought the shiplap one in hopes of using it on a wall as an accent wall because it looks it looks pretty but unfortunately I don't know if I'll be able to make that happen because the wall that I wanted to use it on is incredibly textured and it's all concrete so it won't stay on um, but I might use it to revamp the teacher's lounge or something the black one I've been using to create bulletin boards so for example that's where I've been using it for my calendar area and for my math wall and my sounds wall so it looks cool. All right, so that is everything that I've purchased for my classroom so far. If I make any other purchases, that I'll either update you here or I'll update you on Instagram. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video.